What's going on guys? It's the one round record today. We are here with the 2023 mega tins the 25th anniversary Dueling heroes tins. I have it upside down So we see back here we have uh, it's time to duel It's time to celebrate 25 years of dueling this special anniversary dueling heroes tin Bringing together history's most famous mantras quarter century secret rares along with large or extra large mega packs with holding some of the most popular cards from recent booster sets. And as you can see, he's got some of the, this is the Solid Man Great card, which isn't that popular, I wouldn't say, but, and same thing with this guy. But other ones like the, the ace monster of some famous Yu-Gi-Oh! duels, mainly the protagonists, because of course we have the protagonists all up here. But, um, some of these are also like, we have, uh, what was it? Blackwing Armor Master, he's not a prota he was a protagonist, but not the protagonist. I got four of them. I bought a case. It's four of my 12 from a case. And my friend Just a Peanut also bought a case. So his will probably be scattered maybe on this channel slash um, uh, card boys. Hashtag card boys. So you might want to check those out. These came a little bit before I have to get ready for work. Normally I'd be getting ready for work right now, but I got plenty of time. So I'm going to crack open these four tins. And we're going to do the damn thing. So first tin. First promo is Rainbow Dragon. Not one I'm necessarily hype about. I kind of want Stardust and Black Rose as my top ones. And then the rest are just bonuses. But cool. Rainbow Dragon. Nice. We're looking for Black Wing stuff. Bestial stuff. Blue Eye stuff. Also, I like how they made the tins look. It's pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of the older tins they used to do that were like that. Like, there was a Zexual tin that had like the ulti Giga Brilliant or whatever. And it would kind of look like this. You might speed through the comments after a bit because I do got four tins and stuff's going to get repetitive. Stars align across the Milky Way. The Romancer displaced. Realized. Scarecrow Clash. Uh, Magic Girl. Uh, we got a first rare. We got uh, DDD Hunt or as uh, some guy who went to my locals used to say, uh, triple D's, like he's, like he's a, like he's a, what's it called, Guy Fieri, that right to the side, for super, we got, uh, Noru Ares, the Vernal Dragon, cool, I like dragons, it's neat, first, uh, first ultra is a Maple Maiden, second is, uh, Therion Reaper Foom, or Fum, you know what happens if you change that, that F to a C, ha ha ha, ha, very funny, First, uh, Theron Disc Coliseum. That's all right, but not one I want. And Shangra Era. Ew, yucky, yucky, yucky card. Gross. But uh, somebody will probably want it. And I do have sleeves, so I'll at least sleeve the uh, the secrets. Well, that's going in the the I don't want binder. And then yeah, the ultras for the most part, unless they're ones I really want, I won't sleeve them. The supers can go up here for now. Let's keep the secrets right there. Next pack. These tins are very mixed. A lot of people will say they're going to fail, and I, I can see that because a lot of players are selling them for a loss. I pre-ordered them. I wanted some stuff out of here anyway, so I'm not too turned about it. Uh, brilliant, Rose. I When it comes to tins or most sealed product, you know you're not making your money back, so you just have to accept that, and I accepted it. I'm not too complained about it. Or too upset, rather. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just here to open cards for the people and for the me. And also, hey, having a bunch of spare bulk doesn't hurt sometimes. Cucumber horse. What a what a card. Terror's Hidden City. Oh, they've made that a common. Oh, I'm cheating. Uh, Penny. Uh, Runic Fangs. Got a rare. Dynamorphia. Uh, Kentringa. That's where my super's at. There, I'll put super's up there. Agent of Destruction Venus Ultra. Runic Flashing Fire Ultra. Uh, Beyond the Pendulum, that's a pretty decent one, for sure. I'm not really going to use it, but it's good to have. And Magic Karibo, apparently this one is like, that one's short printed all hell and back. And Lord knows I'd pull one. But, uh, um, let me get my sleeves. I only have a couple of these green sleeves left, and then I have some other ones. Come on. Now, Beyond the Pendulum was a good pull, for sure. But, let's see, come on, can the, can the first ten end on a banger? That's what I need. Uh, King Fisher. Intervention. Noodle Inversion! Uh, Baku the Beast Ninja. Secret Arts. Uh, Mary Melfis. Dogmatica Kurgigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigig
uh, Nichiria Camilla, uh, Samson Samsara Sara Cat. Say that five times fast. Hey, Dictator D, that's what I wanted, so that's a nice ultra. I like that. You're gonna sleeve. Uh, Garua, Wings of Resident Life. That's another good one. A really good one, actually. And Kashtira Fenrir. So that ba that last pack uh, really made up for the, the rest of the tins. Like, really. You got Fenrir, Garura, and Dictator. I know Dictator isn't really that big a deal to most people, but it is to me. So, uh... Nice pull. So the, the first 10 ends pretty solid. I'll take that. No, I'll dictate you can just go to the secret pile. It's fine. I'll get these out of the way. The rares can just go down here. Ultras can stay in this corner. Supers up top. And then next 10. And as I always say, always carry a knife. Always practice life safety. You don't want to harm yourself or others. Easiest way to crack these tins. I should have put a hole in all the tins, but I always feel weird doing that at first. But, oh, his tins were raved because he pre-opened them. Ugh. Not that I've ever had that issue with somebody. Our next promo, Firewall Dragon. I'm hoping at least it's Stardust. I want Stardust. Oh, I got six or I got eight more tins to go through, so I'm not too worried. But at the same time, you know. So let's get rid of all the boring commons because we already know. We got Mugen, or Moonin. So that's a decent rare. I think people will like. Easier to get. Therion, stand up! Uh, Scatter Fusion. I think this is a rarity upgrade. I don't remember. So I know uh, Emerald Gamer Cole will be happy about that, maybe. Uh, Amazonas Warchief. I, is this one of the new ones they imported in here? Or is that just a reprint? I don't remember. Hey, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon is another one I wanted. I really only needed one or two of these, so I'll take that. And poop, trash, garbage. You're not getting a sleeve. Because no. Tamias, the, the, the poop far dragon that nobody likes and is still very bad. Ah, sip, 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 sip. Yeah, not even the Dark Magician player can convince them that's a good card. Like, it's just, it's, it's just bad. Garbage. Uh, double Dust Tornado Twins, hello. Interesting. I don't ever notice this card before. Probably because it was a common... Hey, Brandon regained as a rare, so I got downgrade. It's easier to get, I guess. So that's all right. Smoke Mosquito. He wants all the smoke. Runic Allure. Uh, Rika Princess. Exo Sister Ellis. I know some people are hyped about Exo Sister, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And Therion Lily Bora. And then more cool. Grand Tusk Dragon. I remember Grand Tusk Dragon had like slight hype around it. It lasted like five seconds, but you know. Okay. Is the first 10 going to be winning so far? I think the first 10 is at this current moment. Yeah. So it did, it did clean up there at the end. So let's see. I don't remember the. I know most everything in here is super cheap, but you know. Let's see. Rose. Skip it. Oh, there's Kuklok. Uh, Albaloas. We got Shark Drake Vice. Hey, Boil Storm, the Wicked Wind Ultra. Very appreciated upgrade, so I'm happy about that. So he's gonna get one. Overfusion. Cool. Illusion of Chaos, you better pick up your uh, Magician Souls if you don't have them, because, you know, this is what this is for. And Exosister Pax. So, I think the first one still wins out so far, but we got another car. I uh, got two cards I wanted, so I think we're doing all right so far. And then everything else is going to be a trade fodder or what have you with Mr. Peanut, Mr. Uh, just a Peanut, Diamond Gamer. He, you, you know him as Just a Peanut or Just a Peanuts on streaming and stuff he like i said he got some tins as well so oh, the tins are falling. so more or less if any if he has something i need and i have something he needs probably just going to be a clean swap over the top you know but let's get into this third tin making good time so far on four tins okay i got another rainbow dragon what are the odds trying to get a stardust I got all the factor in like clumping when it comes to this, but so that does happen. Um, good thing I have a trash can this time. I'll be opening Brilliant Rose a lot. 
let's skip over here. Commons. Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Dark Bonder. Silent Wolf Calupo. This is a meme. Uh, Amazonas Augusta. Cool. Another uh, Scatter Fusion. Hey, the Zombie Vampire. That is a good one to get out of here. Very good. And Welcome Labyrinth. I know, I know a certain nut-themed YouTuber slash streamer that'd be happy about that. But Zombie Vampire is good. and looks really good in the Parallel, parallel, blah, 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 parallel Secret Rare. Pretty solid card. Uh, digit Jamming. It's like a revolver. I'll go through these one thirty and cross. You do Griffin. Because I know some of you guys do like the common, so I'll show it off. Even though it's all the ones I've already seen. Donner uh, Dagger for Hire. I know that one's pretty decent here for a bit. Uh, until uh, uh, Azula or whatever came out. The Sky Striker Azula or Azura, whatever her name is. I don't remember. But it's good. Exo Sister Carpe Divum. Cool. War Chief again. Runic Allure again. They're on Lily Bora. And hey, Vada the Wandering, uh, the Emblem of Wandering. That's another Blackwing card I wanted because it looks so good. The, the Super does actually look pretty solid too. Oh, I will give it credit. So the, the Supers from uh, Darkwing Blast look pretty solid. But, secret? Secret. That's our first, uh, I think, if, I, if I'm not forgetting, it's our first re uh, repeat secret. So, okay. Oh. Uh. Hey, yeah, don't look at me. I'm uh, We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. No point editing that out. Too much effort for five seconds. Good thing I trimmed my beard yesterday. <laughs> we got uh, Eon Cradle. And someone's playing music out loud outside, so I'm gonna close the window, actually, because I don't want to get copywritten or anything. I'm not making money off anything, but someone's playing music loud outside. Uh, we're not gonna do that today. Not today. Anyway, where was I? Uh, Muffy Smelfies. Uh, Endless Engine Agro System. Or Argrio System. That's ever it's rare. Uh, the Vernal Dragon again. Rika Princess. Hey, Boral Storm of the Wicked Wind. I think I only need really two of them. Or if three, so that's complete on that. So I'm happy there. Uh, second Ellis. And Bo uh Therion Lily Bora, or Borea, seems to be the uh, the one I keep pulling, and the one I really don't want. Really, really don't want. But I got my two Bora, and now I just need all the main deck stuff for Black Wings. Like, they have, uh... Uh... Shamal, and all that. that are uh, Shamal got an Ultra, I believe, and I forget the others off the top of my head right now. But we'll see in this last tin. So I still think the first tin wins out overall so far. Unless this tin busts out the goods. Meaning probably a Lubellion or any or a hell at this point a Bistol in general. I would take a couple of them. And our last promo of this opening is Red Eyes Black Dragon. I'll probably have some more openings done by tomorrow, probably. I'll probably have those I'll probably have this uploaded by today. And the other one's uploaded tomorrow. I work a morning shift tomorrow, and it'll be before Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, where the boys meet up to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Feather Warwind is a common, so it's a bit easier to get. Not like it was hard to get in the first place, but, you know. More availability. Mitsu, Insect Ninja. We got Yama uh, Yamatako Orochi. Very cute. Uh, Pit Knight. Uh, Pit Knight Early? Yeah, Pit Knight early. People are excited about this one. It's pretty solid as well, so it's pretty good. Hey, Chinook the Snow Blast. I only need one of those, so I will take that Ultra. Hell yeah. Exosu, uh, Michalis. And World Sea Dragon Zelantis. So the first pack of this one, pretty decent. Mainly for my Blackwing card that I wanted. And I guess Zelantis is neat and all. I guess. And then Michalis. People want her. That deck's kind of annoying. Alright. Second to last pack of the opening. Can we get a Lubellion? Can we get some Thunder Discharge? Should have been Thunder Support. Even though it's a... Uh, it's common. Black uh, Black Shadow Squall. Neat, but not good. Uh, Donner Dagger for Hire. Another decent one to have around. Uh, Arment. Uh, Albalenitus, the Abyss Dragon. That's pretty neat to have. Pretty neat. 
Uh, runic Freezing Curses. A lot of Runic cards. Ellis, I think it's my third Ellis. And Bor it's Ellis and Bora. Ellis and Bora. Ellis and Bora. Come on. I think I opened the wrong tins. These must be this must be Donovan's tins. Because I'm getting all the cards he wants. And some Blackman cards. But okay. Got one more pack for this opening. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. I'm going to skip the commons. I'll show them off, though. Crosskeeper is a decent one, even I think it was a common initially. We got the gem of the seafront. So cute. Uh, Therion Bull Ain, which is cool because he's got a drill. Reminds me of Gurren Lagan. Pretty neat. Asian of Destruction Venus. Runic Flashing Fire. Hey, Psychic and Punisher. That's not a bad one. I already have one, but hey, having a second one doesn't hurt. It's a decent secret. And Fateful Adventure as a secret. Looks real pretty. Uh, I already have my collector rare version of it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not really deterrent about it. But having that is nice. It never hurts to have a spare adventure engine you can just throw into another deck. Because that's what I like. I like having at least like two sets of everything I play to an extent. So I can spread it out between multiple decks and what have you without having to switch them. Because otherwise I just keep all the sleeves the same color and that's kind of boring. But uh, I'm gonna do a quick run through. I'm not gonna show off. All these, so you have to watch the video to see everything I get. But uh, I think we did pretty decent. I think we did pretty decent for the tins. I got stuff, stuff I definitely wanted. Already knocking down things I need, and I have plenty of tin left to go. Plenty of tins, and then technically I have a whole another twelve tins from Mr. Donovan, Mr. Gamer Guy, Mr. Just a Peanut. Check him out. Um, he doesn't do any openings. I'm basically going to be opening his tins for him, and he's just going to get all the good stuff because that's that's our deal. He gets cards, I open them. <laughs> it's a, it's a good uh, it's a, it's a good parasocial relationship. Anyway, if you like what you see, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh and figure reviews. I've been the one, Rowan Raiko, and we'll see you next time with some more tins, probably tomorrow. Have a good one.